Hey you guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going through what my melting basket will be for next week. So um, again, you guys know that we are doing a melting challenge. Um, lots of people on here on YouTube, um, lots of you guys commenting are doing some great challenges. Um, this week has been really fun. Our next week's category is to melt um, from your stash only from one vendor. So that's really hard um, for me because I just have so many vendors to pick from. I'm, I tried to decide, do I wanna melt from like my smallest stash and try and like get rid of it? Do I need to melt from my largest stash to make a dent in it? Do I melt, you know, from my favorite vendor? Um, do I melt from my least favorite vendor? Like what, like how do I pick? So I picked um, one that I don't think a lot of people will pick. Um, so that was one of the things is I really, really hope um, all of us um, that are making videos choose some different vendors. Okay, so that was my first um, criteria. My second one is I wanted to have a good variety, um, so it couldn't be my smallest stash because I needed to be able to have enough variety to get me through the week. And I wanted stuff that wasn't too winter, fall heavy, which landed me on Jim's Daughter Craft, Crafts, Jim's Daughter Crafts. And um, so I have um, gotten a few um, hauls from Jim's daughter. And um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I plan to melt next week. It is not my entire stash, um, but I took out every single thing from Jim's daughter crafts that I have. And so I have here like in front of me, um, my like leftovers, the stuff that I have left that I won't be able to, that aren't in like one of my piles yet. So that if I have one of those weeks where I'm like, gosh, I really need something else, I'll have something to melt. So um, let's see, where should I start? Okay, so I have um, Jess, Jess's Candy Cookies, which is lavender, cotton candy, butter mints, and sugar cookies. So for me, that's like a bedroom scent. Um, I have glass slipper and it's really, really pretty. Um, and this is um, sparkling lemon, Valencia orange, lime, sugared mint, verbena, orange blossom, Italian cedarwood, and musk. And then I have this one, which is grass stained knees, which is fresh out of uh, a blend of fresh cut grass and honey I shrunk, honey I wash the kids, which is a um, lush dupe. Um, okay, then I have grasshopper. And grasshopper, uh, grasshopper cocktails, which is lime, agave syrup, cream de mint, mint, light rum, vodka, vanilla, and um, green musk. So I have never smelled something quite like this. Um, it does kind of have that cream de mint like liquor note without it being boozy. And um, this is Stormwatch, um, which is ozone, uh, ocean, ozone, crisp notes, uh, um, watery notes, and sea salt. And this is like 100% thunderstorm, like scentsy smell of thunderstorm. Then I have butterfly flowers, which is fresh ozone, lily, sage, greens, cassis, um, sweet amber, orange flower, orange flower, and musk. And um, I'm so glad to have some, um, some floral in the mix. Um, I didn't pull a lot of floral for this week and I'm missing it, so I'm really glad. Um, this one's Tropical Island which is a blend of butt naked and sun your buns. Um, and so it smells like bum bum or boom boom cream, say it however you want to, and copper tone maybe. Um, and then beach hair whatever, which is salty sea air and shave and a haircut. I love that one. That one's like one of my favorite things. Um, birth, okay, so then I'm gonna kind of mix these, I think. Birthday suit, which is skinny dipping and bedtime bath. Birthday suit is not, I, I just picked it based on the name and now that I look at the notes, it's um, it's not, this is her first birthday, which is pink sugar and birthday cake. So totally different. So we'll see how all of that mix, mixes together. Um, I always pull stuff and like put them in day piles and then by the end I'm like, maybe I want something else. 
Um, I did Luxury Spa Retreat, which is Sage Leaf and Bergamot. Oh, this one's good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, I did Lemon Laundry, which is Lemon Drop Candy Cane, Lemon Drop Candy and Gain type. Um, and then I did In the Stars. And look at like that decoration, if you can see it. Um, it's really pretty. Um, and it's Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Amber. Mm, that one's really good too. Very woody, but not um, not too fall, if that makes sense. Gypsy Soul, which is Lemon Sparkle, Coconut, Golden Saffron, Cherry Blossoms, Pineapple, Star Jasmine, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Cedar, Musk, and Vanilla. And like, I think that, like something like this with all of those notes is one single oil, but um, you guys might recognize it. I don't know it just out of that. Um, this is Ocean Sun and Fun, which is Ocean Mist and Sun and Sand type. Mm. Love Mermaid Cove. Look at how pretty that one is. Um, and it is Coconut Water, Lemon Zest, Valencia Orange, Pineapple, Sea Lily, Lychee Blossom, Sugar Cane, Amber Sand, and Tiari Flower. Mm. Like this is going to be like a fresh um, floral week. Um, with like other stuff kind of mixed in. So this is a uh, boogie fever, which is camphor, eucalyptus, and mint. Another bedroom scent for me. Oh, that one's so strong. It's very Vix. And this is eucalyptus and spearmint, which is a refreshing blend of eucalyptus, spearmint, and bergamot. Love that one. And then circus concession, um, which is a blend of cotton candy, caramelized apples, and hints of funnel cake. Smells good. And then my last day, I have his birthday. I have two of those, which is um, a blend of blue sugar and birthday cake. Mm -hmm. And I have Moon Bounce, which is Luna type and cream soda. Um, that one smells really good. Um, and then Drama Queen, which is pink sugar and peppermint. Which smells really good. Um, so that is like the stuff that I'm for sure like putting in my days. But what I have left, I just wanted to show you guys in case they end up being something that I melt. So I have two um, bean bags of cowboy coffee, which is coffee and toasted marshmallow. I have two bean bags of Sunday breakfast, which is coffee and cinnamon buns. And then I have one bean bag each of wake and bake which is snickerdoodles, coffee, and whipped cream, but first coffee, which is just a fresh morning coffee, and a liquid hug, which is coffee and peppermint mocha. So I have all of those. She had a coffee sampler, and so I got that. Um, and so I may put that in, like, intermixed, um, like, on a day that I'm home, and I do two melts, because sometimes when I'm not home for the day or whatever, I'm wor working from the office, like, I don't I, like I, I have the warmers on and my husband and my kids can smell it, but I don't change it. So um, I might do that on a day that I'm working from home. I also have make a wish here, which is lemon, orange, grapefruit, dandelion, fluff, green, sweet grass, lilies, and soft musk. This one smells so interesting because I have smelled many, many fre crush, fresh cut grass. And this like has sort of that weedy green note that's not just a grass note, it's very interesting. And then barefoot in the grass, which is lime, mandarin, bergamot, spring grass, grapefruit, poppies, woods, and sweet meadows. Um, and this one smells really pretty. Um, this one smells super grassy and this one smells super pretty. So I might um, put those in there somewhere if there's like something that I want to skip on. And then the last one I have is fruity cakes, which is uh, Fruit Loops and tea and cakes. Um, and surprisingly, this one's kind of a bedroom melt for me, which I know sounds weird. Um, but I just really like f Fruit Loops in the bedroom. I don't know, fruity pebbles. Um, so those, that's the, the only stuff that I have left from them. So what I'm really excited about this week is that I'm going to melt a bunch and from one vendor and um i've melted off and on from jim's daughter's craft jim's daughter crafts 
I, I always screw that up. I always put S's on all on the end of all of them. Um, on Jim's daughter crafts, um, I I put um, a few things in the melters occasionally, but like I don't know if I have great performance or if I have good longevity or good throw. And this is going to be like at the end of this week, I can be like, this is a vendor that's like on my must purchase list. I need to continue to buy. Here are some of my favorite scents. Um, or it can be on the, I have tried a lot from that vendor. I've done a lot of different scents. I've melted in a lot of different areas and it does okay in my house. So it might be an occasional purchase, um, you know, recommend whatever, whatever. And, um, then it could be the, you know, no performance, not, um, not doing great, um, for longevity, whatever, and that it wouldn't be a repurchase. So I'll be able to say that pretty confidently after this week, um, which I kind of really like. In this melting challenge, there is a whole nother week of a different vendor. So we're going to have to do another vendor at some point. So I'd love to hear your comments below. What would you vote for um, to have melting? Would you choose your biggest stash? So for me, my biggest stash is L3, hands down. Um, so if I melt, I, I'd have a ton to choose from. My favorite vendor is Rainbow Melts, which I also have a ton to choose from. Um, but I kind of hoard a little bit because she's a little bit harder to get from sometimes. Um, and then my smaller vendors that I could like finish are things like Dessa's or Simo's, um, Pharmacist Daughter, um, EA, um, Empire Alchemy, um, Bathing Garden. Like those are smaller um, like storage containers of things. So, um, Brita's maybe, maybe I have a little bit too much Brita's, but you know, that's a, a bigger stash. So I, you know, I'm just curious how you guys would go about it. And I'm curious if you're going to do it. Um, if you make a video, I would love for it to be a surprise to find out who you're melting. And if you don't make a video, I'd like to hear who you plan on melting this week. And, um, if you've melted from Jim's daughter, um, let me know your, your thoughts. Um, I love her group. I love interacting in her group. I think that she has a great care for customer service, doing things right. Um, the quality of the items that I have received from her are also always top notch. They always look beautiful. Um, I do really like the scents. Um, so the, uh, scent appeal for me is very high. Um, but I have had sort of hit or miss performance, but haven't melted a ton, honestly. And so I can't say it's like all or nothing. And this week, I think I'll be able to say. So anyways, um, let me know your thoughts below. I cannot wait to hear what everybody else is warming. I really want it to be a surprise. Um, so if you're making a video, don't say and I'll watch it. Um, link it below if you want. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye y'all.